Greetings, YouTubers. This is Farmer Son Prepping here. Let me get this thing adjusted out a little bit. Hope you're all doing well today. Wanted to go over some, some different things that are multi-use. Uh, if you've been a prepper a long time, you're going to probably already know a lot of this. But this is for the newer preppers that may be coming along that may not know all the uses of certain things. So we're going to talk about multi-use items today. Uh, that we can multi-use items that we can keep in our pack and use for different different things. Uh, let's start off with, you know, duct tape. You can get it in different sizes. Uh, this is Gorilla Tape. It's a one inch roll. That's what I keep in my pack. This is a bigger roll of duct tape. Duct tape has many, many different uses. Many. It's one of those things that has about as many uses as you could want to have in, in an item. You can repair your tents or your tarps with them. Like if you have a small hole or a tear, you can use this to repair your tents and tarps. You can even repair a clothing. Like if you had a hole in your shirt and you're walking through thick bush, you know, you could put a piece on the inside and put a piece on the outside and let them stick together through the hole. That would keep you from getting scratched up at least. Excellent use for fire tender or fire starter or fire extender. It works for all that stuff. Uh, the adhesive, something in the adhesive makes it easy to burn and it burns for a good long while. Uh, you can secure noisy items in your pack. I'm one of those kind of people, I don't like noisy stuff clonking around in my pack. I like to be able to hear, you know, for OPSEC reasons, that's, you know, or just to hear the birds or whatever. I like to hear what's going on around me. So buy noisy items in your pack. Metal tent stakes is one of the biggest. Uh, I put a little piece of duct tape on here. It keeps them all secure. They don't rattle around. And when I get my camp set up, I can peel this off. I've got a used piece of duct tape to use to start my fire with. So it's, it's you know, I'm using it for two different things. So that's good. Uh, so that's one thing. These tent stakes right here normally aren't that loud, the little plastic ABS kind. But I don't like digging around and finding one tent stake. Uh, so I tape mine together so that when I find them, I found them all. So. I do that with the ABS ones. So you can use it for uh, securing noisy items. Uh, sometimes your pots and pan, like if you have a cook set, it can be noisy. Sometimes you can secure that as well. You can uh, use it to secure bandages, like in a medical situation. Uh, I've actually received a medical kit that actually had a small roll of duct tape in it. so. Uh, and you can make, let me see, what did I do with that? I had a little, what did I do with it? Here, here we go. I lost it for a second. You know, uh, you can cut you a piece of duct tape into shape like this and use it for a stereo strip if you need to. You know, to pull a wound together, pull it, pull it closed and use it for that. Make you some little stereo strips, all right? little hourglass shapes. Uh, you can use it to save your batteries. If you have something you like electronic that you want to keep in your pack, uh, like a, a headlamp or whatever, but you don't want the button to get pushed and run your batteries down, you know, a lot of things like that come with a little tab straight off the shelf, a little plastic tab you pull and then the batteries work. Well, you can do the same thing with duct tape and make you a little a little tab to just pull out boom it, it turns on uh, you can do that you can also use it to remove shine on shiny items uh like here this knife uh it has a shiny part right here on the handle it's kind of shiny now this doesn't bother me but it bothers some people or like that snap right there it's kind of shiny 
Uh, you could use a piece of duct tape to cover that up uh, to remove the shine. Or if you've got something with a bright handle on it, this is my silky. It's got an orange handle on it. This doesn't bother me. I like to be able to find my saw. But if it bothered me, I could put some duct tape on it, you know, and tone all that down if I had to. Uh, so th there are more uses for duct tape. These are just the ones I could think of for this video. But uh, let me know down in the comments what your uses for duct tape are. Okay. Uh, oh, before I get done on duct tape, uh, you know, the fire starter, I said that, but, uh, you know, you put it around your lighter like this, and you have your ignition source and your tender right there on one little unit there. Okay, we're done with duct tape. Moving on to cordage. Cordage can be multi-use as well. Uh... I keep two different types of cordage. This is 550 paracord. This is a number 36 bank line. Uh, maybe too much light. That might be better. This is number 36 bank line. This is a, or what's left of a one pound spool. And uh, so yeah, cordage can be used for different things as well. Uh, of course it can be used in shelter making. You use it for your ridge line to put your shelter up with. Uh, run your stakes and you know and you know we all know that it can be used for that uh, the bank line can actually be used for snares it's uh, and it's, it's an impromptu situation but you can actually use this for snare uh, this is three I don't know if you can see that but anyway this is twisted bank line and it's three different strands in there you can untwist these strands and each strands like a hundred pound test you could make a snare uh you can use uh you can use cordage for sewing these strands and the 550 cord would be better for sewing if you had to sew up your shirt or something like that these would be the better ones uh i would think for sewing but uh, you can, you know, again, pull out the individual strands and use that for sewing. Uh, let's see. So use that for sewing thread. Uh, and, you know, you could uh, you could use them for fishing line. Uh, it would be an impromptu. It would be a survival situation. You know, you'd prefer to have a little bit of fishing line with you. But, you know, they also make that Titan Survivor Cord. And it has a fishing line, it has all seven strands, but then it has a dedicated fishing line strand, it has a fire cord strand for lighting fires, and then it has a copper wire strand as well. And I'll, I'm going to be purchasing me some of that Titan Survivor cord because it's got dedicated strands just for like fishing and that type of thing. You can also use it for for camp security, uh, trip lines, trip wires. If you if you've got some some ways of making noise or whatever, you can run you some trip wires or trip lines. If you needed to secure your camp or your location, it could be used for that as well. Of course, you can use it to sew up your gear and your clothing. You know, using it as sewing thread. All right, let's see. Let's go to. That one's done. I made notes on this one, y'all. Okay. Uh, bandanas. Uh, bandanas, cotton shemogs. I don't have a shemog yet, but I'll be ordering me one soon. Uh, can multi-use items. Okay. They can be used for a pre-filter. I've actually covered that on another video. They can be used for a pre-filter. Pre-filter your water before you run it through your Sawyer or your Berkey or whatever. Um, you can also use a, that would be a Shemog especially. You can use them to keep cool. Dip this in the water, put it around your neck. You know, that evaporative cooling will help you to keep cool. Uh, use it as an air filter. You know, make you a mask out of it. Put it across your face. Uh, dust and smoke it'll keep you know most of that stuff out use it as an air filter uh 
You can use it as bandages. Just because these are generally cotton, you can use them as bandages in a you know impromptu situation. Uh, um, a brightly colored one, you could use it as a waypoint, uh, and you know. Uh, so you can use it as a waypoint. That's another use. You can also use them to signal like, hey, I'm here. Rescue me. You know, that type of thing. Uh, could possibly use them to make a sling for a broken limb, broken arm, something like that. And they can also be used to make charred material. Char cloth, uh, which is fire making, helping you get your fires made, okay? All right, so moving on. My compass. I have a Sunto MC2 compass right here. It has multi uses as well. It's got a mirror in here. You can use that for hygiene. Okay, if you got a cut on your face or maybe you got a tick on your neck or whatever it is, you can use that mirror for that. You can use it to signal with. Okay, so you got a signaling mirror. Uh, Obviously, it's navigation, uh, orienteering can be used for that. Also has a small um, lens on it you can start a fire with, like a magnifying lens. And uh, so that's multi-use. Plus it has, you know, scales for uh, reading maps and all that navigational stuff. You got rulers on here and you got scales. So a lot of multi-uses on that. Next up is, oh yeah, chapstick. Chapstick has a couple different uses. Uh, of course, it's used for lips, but you could, uh, you could use it to seal a small wound. Uh, not nothing big, but you could use it to seal a small wound with. You could also take and mix it up with some uh, fine charcoal powder and make you some face paint with it. I've actually done that. It does work. You can make you some face paint with it. Again, also used to start fires with as well. Use it as a fire extender, a fire starter. Works very good for all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, those are the types of things I want to talk about today. Uh, so y'all, if you like this video, give us a, a thumbs up or a like, whatever you call it. We appreciate you watching. Uh, share the videos, that would be most appreciated. And we love y'all, and we'll see you later. Farmer Son Prepping, we're out.